Hello everyone, this is Jose from City of Cars. Today we're gonna to be doing another walk around video for you guys this time around on a 22 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited High Altitude Edition. Uh, gotta love this classic black on black Jeep. Uh, gotta love the fact that it's a high altitude and you know it's a Sierra because you got the body matching fenders, meaning that a lot of the equipment you would expect to find on a loaded Wrangler is gonna be on this particular unit. Uh, very clean car, again, less than 30,000 miles, so very clean, uh, pretty much a brand new used car, not much to apologize on this one. Um, gotta love this just blacked out Jeep look, definitely pretty cool. Uh, you are gonna get two sets of keys with this vehicle. Obviously, it has a proximity entering and feature with buttons on the doors as well as the road start. So if you look right here, you can press this and it's gonna unlock for you as soon as you just kind of grab onto it. Other nice features is the embroidery on this. You got some orange stitching going into the seats, uh, along the steering wheel, even on the shifter knob. So nice little extra touches all the way around. Uh, you do get automatic headlights. If you look at the exact mileage, you got 29,556 on this one. Uh, obviously it's a Jeep, so you can remove uh, the panels on the front and obviously you can uh, disengage um, the, the quick release things and make this fully convertible and even release the doors if you really wanted to so definitely a fun car uh let's take a peek and open it all up um staying through with that color contrast even in the back you do get that uh custom seating uh, or stitching found throughout it and again very cool looking uh you can lower this uh middle seat for some cup holders there uh back side you do get a 115 volt, which is kind of nice and convenient. Window controls, you got two USBs back here as well as some actual air vents, which is kind of cool. Uh, let's go ahead and take a peek at the trunk space on this one. Looks like we open it up. You get some goodies in here. So the bag is obviously store. Uh, the tops is all gonna be on there and it looks like you got two sets of floor mats You got the all-weather floor mats and the regular carpeted ones, which is definitely convenient uh, If you notice here, you got another 12 volt connection and it does have the Alpine stereo system So you get that bigger subwoofer built in right to the Jeep. So uh, Definitely some good sound which when you take the top off and it's a beautiful day such as today Definitely something that you definitely want when you got a Jeep um Let's go ahead and turn it on for you guys. And you can see it all lit up. Press the foot of the brake. It is push button start. That kind of turns on here. It does have the navigation system, which is kind of nice. We'll lower that down. There we go. We started up the engine. You can see full nav apps in here we got a couple of projection managers that should give you apple carplay and android auto backup cameras there auto dimming mirror definitely some nice little toys obviously to to play around with which is definitely cool uh taking a peek at your off-road controls uh you do have aux one two and three and four so plenty of connectivity if you look at the media thing you have like a USB-C. Uh, an aux and another usb up here we're going to peek at the glove box you do have the owner's manual still in the vehicle uh taking a peek at the center console here we got a little compartment here for miscellaneous stuff and then that flips up and you also have another deeper storage compartment with another usb alongside with the tools to be able to remove your hard top and you do have your wheel lock key right inside here so you do have that that comes with the vehicle as well Go ahead and turn this off and take a peek at the motor itself. Also, I should note it does have the blind spot monitoring system. Uh, but let's go ahead and pop this open here. Oop, there we go. And there we go. And I want to say this one is the 3.6 Penstar. As you can see, the motor right in there, nice and clean. And we can confirm that by seeing this right here saying 3.6. That's definitely going to be that Penstar engine. And it is fully stock, which is definitely what you want to see. Let's go ahead and clip this back in here. And clip this one in. These are fairly easy to do. Just put them in and you clip it on tight. And that's simple as that. Uh, walking over to this Mustang here, I did conveniently 
but two pieces of paper here. That's gonna be the Carfax, as you can see. This particular one is no accidents, regular oil changes, and a one owner vehicle, which is pretty much exactly what you wanna see in a Jeep. Uh, same thing with this here. It is the original MSRP of the vehicle. Looks like it was 57.8. And if you look through, it is very, very well equipped. Uh, so it's got the package 20, uh, 25N, which it, feel free to pause this video at any time to look through all the features here. But it looks like it's got the trailer tow package, remote start system, plenty of goodies. So definitely not a based out vehicle, um, as you can clearly see here. But with that being said, let's go ahead and take this, quick, this Jeep for a quick test drive around the block. That way you can kind of see it on the road. And we'll go from there. Alright, taking the vehicle out of the garage here just to do a quick loop around the block. And first impressions definitely is a 3.6. I love that over the 2.0s. I mean, they're peppy, but nothing beats a V6 to me, in my personal opinion. And Wrangler, definitely a fun car. I barely press on the pedal and it moves. Gotta love that smoothness and acceleration. Uh, definitely enjoy driving a Jeep around. I mean, it's just, it just feels a little different than most other vehicles. It's just fun. Um, and they've done a heck of a job as far as improving the handling on these things over the years. Um, you can see this tight turn. I mean, it just takes it like a little go-kart. It's so much fun. Uh, even though we're in, I, I do like the fact that we're not limited. That wider wheelbase does give us uh, a little bit more stability. Um, so definitely more comfortable, more room. I do prefer the unlimited over the two doors, but I mean, if you're off-road and I can see definitely the use for a two door in that traditional styling, but as far as daily practical use, I definitely like the four door a bit better, which obviously this is an unlimited AKA four door. Um, definitely a good ride. I uh, you can't complain. I mean, it's definitely a Jeep, definitely beautiful, uh, black on black. You cannot beat it optioned out with everything I would want on the car. Um, I mean, as you can see here, you do get the controls. I mean, uh, bu -bu -bu -bum. Uh, you can turn the engine on off button. That's definitely kind of cool. Um, the other nice thing about this, it is a Gorilla Glass. So that's huge on this because obviously Wranglers have such a flat angle windshield that they're easy to get rock ships in. Uh, the fact that this is OEM Gorilla Glass definitely is a key feature in this car because that does make it way, way nicer. Especially if you do get one of those rocks to hit you on the windshield, it definitely helps out quite a bit. Um, another cool thing, obviously speakers built in. Gotta love the way they do these little lights here. Uh, definitely kind of a cool design. Love the texture all around. I mean, they've definitely done a really good job with this vehicle. And little Easter eggs, you can see a little Jeep kind of climbing up there. Uh, definitely some fun things. Uh, let's go ahead and turn it off here. And step back out and we'll do one last kind of walk around the car. Now that it's actually outside of the garage. Now let's go ahead and test that remote start. So you press the lock, press and hold this, and the vehicle should eventually fire up for us. There it goes. Definitely a beautiful Jeep. Uh, please let us know if you have any questions on this vehicle. Uh, you can see all the information on it for yourself at www.cityofcars.com uh, or simply give me a call. My number is 248-892-9663. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I hope you have a wonderful day.